somebody help me out please. I am new to dating and the last time I was single was before smartphones existed. So Tinder and Hinge feels like a whole new world to me, right? So 40 years old and uh, here she is getting on the dating apps for the very first time. My question to her is, what was wrong with your husband? Was he really that bad? I mean, is this, does this sound like a better trade-off to you? It's so, it's just so mind-numbing how these women will leave a good man, a good marriage. We've covered a number of women who've done that, by the way. They've left a good man, a good marriage, who they admit was a good man, a good marriage, nice guy, uh, I couldn't ask for anything better and like he was wonderful uh, to do what? To get on the dating apps, right? Because he was too nice. He was too perfect. Too nice. Just proof you can never make these women happy. But here she is on the dating app, man. 40 years old. Good luck. When you match with somebody, whose job is it to speak first? Is it the person that's on your dating app or the person who was like the second person to make a match because I don't know or does no one ever talk like like what like what is it someone tell me well if you're in your 20s um, these dudes will probably just message you first right but if you're in your 40s uh, you will probably need to take more action but shouldn't have left uh, your man in the first place okay so in case you haven't guessed, I'm in my 40s. No. I'm divorced uh, four years now. I'm dating. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. It's wild out there. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should let my cat swipe for me. Um, delightful experience. Sounds interesting. Um, this poor guy's just trying to delete his profile. He's having some difficulties. Sorry, bud. Um, and then this fella, father of three ugly adults. Sorry, kids. I hope you don't see this. I, here's another 40 year old woman. I mean, why? Right? I, yeah, I mean, this is in the reason why I actually, I do know the reason why, uh, is because these days we're living in a culture where they, there are just so many people out there, right? It usually starts at the top with media, you know, advertising news, Hollywood, you name it, that are telling these middle-aged women that, you know, you're a boss babe, right? Go out there and get yours, girl. You gotta live to do you. Don't, you know, leave your husband. And they're filling these women up with, um, you know, they're, t they're selling these women essentially snake oil, right? They're just selling them this load of the sales pitch, right? They're selling them like Jive, really, right? They're selling them BitConnect and they're buying it. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. I do have the value. I bet I could get back on those dating apps and these men will value me more than my husband did of 20 years who committed himself to me. You know, bought me a house, bought me a car, was there for me through thick and thin, through illnesses, through Christmas vacations and family get togethers willing to go the distance with me. I'll find a better man on Tinder or Hinge. <laughs> you cannot make this stuff up. All right, let's go on to the next one. So before we get into this last clip here, word to the wise ladies, if you are in your 40s or 50s and you are married, you have been married to the same man for a decade or so, you might want to think twice about divorcing him. Just look at these ladies who've done exactly what you are thinking about. Do they look happier than you? Does it look like they're having a ball out there? So I think to answer this, I think that these dating apps have created a disposable society. You think? I think it's created a, a reality that if the person that you're dating is not good enough or you find a little red flag, that it's easy enough to just swipe on the next person and move on. <laughs> I think um, both sexes use this to their advantage, whereas they talk nice to you until you get off the app. I've, my experience is as soon as they get off the app, I get the first text, it's usually a dick pic. 
or a comment like, what's your favorite position? <laughs> so I find that people aren't putting in enough effort. I mean, and that's what happens when you're, you know, over the age of 40 and on these dating apps is, um, guys are just going to look at you that way, right? Because I mean, really there's nothing else of value that they feel you're bringing to the table, right? There's nothing else they feel like, okay, well, you know, she's 40. They know that the cards are in their favor. They know that they don't have to deal with you regardless, right? They're sending you these obscene photos. They, you know, whether you like it or not, they know they don't have to put in much effort, which is what she's complaining about here, right? So many of these uh, women over 40 complain about the fact that guys are doing the bare minimum these days before they used to roll out the red carpet, before he used to pull out my chair, open my car door, you know, call me whenever I called, you know, left a message for him. Well, those days are over, right? Because you don't have you know, anything to trade these days except for what's between your legs and really just a quick lay. Um, because these guys can now get women who are much younger, much hotter, and much more youthful, and with a whole lot less baggage. I, and these women don't like to hear that. To actually be in a relationship for the ones that want the relationships. Mind you, I don't care about the ones that that's not what they're looking for, but there's some of us that are still really looking for a relationship and really want that, that person. Uh, what was wrong with your ex-husband? <laughs> I mean, really, it's as simple as that. Like, what was wrong with the dude you were married to? Now, don't get me wrong. It's not all bad. I've met some amazing people on these sites, and i, I formed long-lasting relationships with them, and a lot of them I still talk to maybe on a daily whoa whoa so she's still talking to the dudes that she dated from the app that she's already gotten physical with she's still talking to these guys and that just kind of reminds me of why guys don't like to date these older women because that's the stuff that they do right they have all these other dudes just kind of circling and you know what is she and she's trying to find somebody to be in a relationship with her and she's still talking to the dudes that she met from the app that she's banged right and so i don't see how she's supposed to you know find something long term which i mean is already very difficult if not impossible at her age i've had some amazing dates i've i, I can't complain on that aspect it's the fake people who who take advantage of the situations and aren't true to who they are, faking their age, faking their looks, faking what they really want, um, and leading people on. I just miss the old days where people put in an effort and, and the wooing. I miss the wooing. The wooing? Like, the courting? Can we get the wooing back? Uh, you can't get that back unless you have a time machine or unless you want to borrow my DeLorean, charge you a million dollars for that, to go back in time when you were younger and warned yourself not to stay out there past the age of 30, right? I, I, these chicks are complaining of the fact that guys are just not pursuing them like they used to back in what, the, the 80s, the 90s? Well, because back then you were what, 22 years old? You are like a, a junior in college? You are younger, tighter, and uh, these guys you know, had more incentive to do these things. But now that you're, you know, four decades in here, there's not a whole lot of incentive because now they're getting somebody with a lot more wrinkles, gray hair, turkey neck, crow's feet. You know, we're all getting them. I'm starting to get it too, you know, at my age. I was, I've been getting it, right? But uh, it's different for a guy. I'm a guy, right? It works in my favor. But for women, it just does not look good on women. But as always, gentlemen, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video, anything you would like to add, anything you would like to share, anything I might have missed. Drop them in the comments below. As always, this is M from The 33 Secrets signing out. Don't forget to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, smash that notification bell for me as well. Helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. And for you guys who want to support my work and everything I'm teaching you here, all this red pill, gold pill, platinum pill content that I'm teaching you, enlightening you with, if it's making your life better, if it's making you a stronger, smarter, 
and more informed dude. Best way to support my work is by getting into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students all around the world now are out there approaching, meeting, finding, attracting, dating every single week. And I want you to join us and become one of us, right? And again, it's the best way to support my work. So right now it's only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me. Take advantage of it. Just click the link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. Just takes two seconds. So do that now and I'll see you in my next coaching video. I'm out.